what's up guys i'll be back here with another <laughs> huge in build this time the last one at least until we see more changes meta m like more meta stuff more weapons you know changes more synergies unlock for now this is the better one so in my first build in my second build i overlooked certain stuff also gluttony wasn't out yet so I didn't know what to expect expect from content. I mentioned that 12k HP was enough because you healed constantly. I was definitely wrong. As you saw from the clips, this build outputs a lot of damage, heals a lot, and you feel so tanky. So let's go over what I improved from the modules. I added focus on non-attribute. I previously only used focus on fusion and uh, that was a mistake because you love stacking cooldown and also your ticking heal benefits so much from this uh, additional st skill power right then so here I, I had a rutile with uh, an outstanding investment that was like duration is not worth at all so yeah this is insane. Then I went with two Cerulean for the HP. You loved like being tanky is, is great, so you can keep healing uh, and uh, uptime, and uh, you can dish out gun damage without worrying too much. You know you can tank stuff. Press Z or what well, I keep behind it, so plus four. Heal up, keep and keep doing damage while you stack passionate sponsor. Spin shield for the skill power and a, bit, a little bit of defense. Of course, if I had a short sword or like my sub module catalyzed, I would have it maxed, but I don't really care. I this is extremely effective already. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get ultimate Eugene eventually anyway. So yeah, I don't care about a few, like a bit of defense. For I mean, it's actually a good amount, but yeah, whatever. So the focus and passion sponsor, obviously, this is a, like your damage. The reason, like in my opinion, Eugene is actually one of the better Gian descendants because you can effortlessly keep up passion sponsor, and passion sponsor is insane. It's honestly like the best mod for a support. As you could see. I output roughly the same damage as my Glay and, uh, and Valby. Maybe a bit less, but like roughly the same time, I did 117 million. <laughs> the reason why you can output so much damage is, of course, passionate sponsor that gives you roughly 12k firearm attack. To, I can't show it right now because I have no allies, so, but. It's 70, 75% of your base firearm, right? So on, on Greg, it's, it's insane. Uh, but at the same time, you, you're you insanely bulky and you can insta heal your HP uh, while giving yourself a firearm attack buff. So your f shooting uptime is insane. That's why you end up being one of the better Gun Descendants. Of course, you're not as good as Glay or or uh, or Enzo, but <laughs> honestly, you you might be you're close to them, right? I think he's extremely underrated for damage. Of course, this only works in uh, in group play, unfortunately, but it would be broken otherwise. Let's go over the components. You want two piece veteran marksman for the create for the build a little bit of damage, right? Five percent crit rate. It's not so flat, obviously it's multiplicative, but you know, decent crit weapons like these two, it's 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 some damage. It's also nice that they are max HP both of them on the main stat. You want shield on the processor and you absolutely want MP recovering combat gold roll would be recommended I never run out of MP on, on prolonged fights I don't even need the MP 
roll. I, I just need Impure Recovery. This is really good. Then you want HP, HP on the power. I, you don't care about the, the other two pieces, right? If you can, maybe. I don't know, honestly, it doesn't matter. You just want HP, defense, and HP, HP. Reactor, I recommend a rare again because you heal so much already. Your ticks heal a lot. Like, you, you heal 80% of pretty much anyone except the Ajax. Right, because you yield 100% of your all your skill power, so you yield 25k. Plus the modifier, right? So you yield more than that. So that's gonna cap out on every single character except body enhancement Ajax. So you yield 80% of the HP, and then you yield five seconds 10% HP ticks. So you heal, you over heal, uh, heal everyone. It, it, it's insane. So you don't need a, a, a ultimate. I recommend a rare because you want a DPS. And if you don't have the right weapon, like you want to switch weapons, right? One for weak point damage, like for weak weak spots, and one for uh, raw damage. And and in Glatony fight especially when you have to push impurities you want a lot of ammo right so and during legacy it's better and sometimes you run out of ammo and you know, and you want to use maybe your your third option to push impurities and uh, if you had a reactor that was ultimate you, you might miss out on yields i i just think this is more valuable let's go for the rolls non attribute skill power boost duration and hp modifier for maximum healing or Replace one of these two with cooldown to have even more up timeline. Not like, not like you need it, but like if you do that, your duty and sacrifice would be under 10 seconds, which is crazy. I just couldn't bother farming more reactors. I got this one, this one was really nice, so I stuck with it. And yes, that, that is it, I think. Oh, yeah, the weapon build. This is the same drag I used in all my previous videos. Same with Enduring Legacy. And yeah. This is definitely the better <laughs> UG build. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next one.